Yo, what up everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel, Worst Effing Gamer here, and I'm crazy excited to be back to YouTube! Come a little closer. That's about right. All right, guys, let's talk about it. Where have I been? What have I been doing? And uh, what's new? So basically, I took a hiatus from the channel. <laughs> hiatus. I took a hiatus from the channel, guys. I uh, needed some time off. Uh, family's getting big. I'm on my third child now. That I know, right? I look not a day over 16. <laughs> but yeah, three kids. Uh, busy life. Busy wife, girlfriend on the side. So it's getting a little crazy for me, guys. So I needed some time off. I got everything all set up and squared away. Now I think I'm back. So now it's time to jump back onto YouTube. Make some more content for Marvel Strike Force because I'm crazy excited. This is going to be the Road to Dark Dimension 3 series. And uh, I'm going to take you guys along the way as I try to get into Dark Dimension 3. We'll go into the progress. I'll keep you guys posted almost daily. On the progress, and then we'll go from there, right? So let's just jump right into it. All right, let's just jump right into my team here. I'll show you what I've been working on lately, so we'll have a good understanding of what I'm going to be working on and what the goal is. First, gear 14 hero is Phoenix, guys. Look at her, looking so goddamn good. Oh, god, she's phenomenal. She's my first 14. Um, Ultron will be my second one. We're one item away here, but it's going to take a little bit of time here to get this last item here. These conductors are impossible. I need about 12 more just for him and then basically all other techs. So that's the first challenge right there. We're going for Ultron. Third is going to be Scientist Supreme. Now, the problem is she is also tech, which kind of spoils my plans a little bit here because I'm going to need a lot of those conductors. So that's going to kind of set me back a little bit here. Now, the next ones that I'm planning on going with is going to be Mr. Sinister. Now, this is contingent on only if I can get a few more red stars for this guy because he's quite low on my red stars and uh, you need quite a few more for him. But the goal is to get him as my fourth. And then my fifth, it looks like I'm going to run with Nick Fury. So you want to make sure your first five Gear 14 heroes are preferably global because after the first few stages of Dark Dimension 3, then you can only use global characters, as you guys might already know. So this is why I went with uh, these four. And then the reason why I'm going with Fury is because uh, he's skill, which means I'm going to have a lot more items for him. More than anybody else here. Colossus has great synergy with Phoenix, but he's mutant. So if I go with Mr. Sinister, the resource pool is going to be a lot lower. Uh, scrolling down here. Other options... Mm -hmm. Black Widow is also skill, but I think Nick Fury is a little bit better than her. Trooper, I'd rather have Nick Fury as well. Shuri is another one that I really, really want to get up there, guys. The problem is she's tech, so it's either her or Scientist Supreme, and I kind of want to go with Scientist Supreme. I just love her. I love what she does in raids. She's phenomenal, so I want to roll with her more than uh, Shuri. And then everybody else is still a little bit too low here. My only other option that I was thinking about is Yo-Yo. She's bio. I will have a lot of her items at gear tier 13 into 14. So my only options really that I've been thinking about is either Yo-Yo or Nick Fury, guys. <clears throat> and since Nick Fury is already 75, he would be the easiest one for me to take up there. But I only got three red stars on him as well, so it's not that great. So that's another thing. So that's what I'm planning on with that. Now, moving on to this part number two. This is going to be the cosmic section here. This one is a little bit uh, tricky as well here because I got a lot of different options I got to go with. So, Black Bolt is my first option. I really, really want to get Black Bolt in there, guys. I mean, I used up my six Red Star promotion on him. So, he, I really want to make him my first cosmic 14, uh, T14 hero. But... The option is I got to kind of make a choice either between him or Captain Marvel here because they I, they need exactly the same stuff. So that's the hard part. But I think I want to go with him. And if I choose to go with Black Bolt for Cosmic, then I'm going to go with Yo-Yo for Global. 
because of their synergy here in the first few sections they will kill it together so that's kind of the goal here if i go with fury i still might go with black bolt to be honest though black bolt over everything my second choice for cosmic is definitely minerva i mean minerva is phenomenal in rage you guys already know i only need four more items for her but another problem is she's tech huh. so i'm gonna need a lot more of those tech items as well but she's definitely gonna be number two now scrolling around here number three you need an energy feeder and this guy shakes it like there's no other <laughs> no homo but star lord is going to be my number three guys i just even though he's tech i really really as you can see i already t4 all of his abilities i got him ready to go here so he's somebody i'm gonna really really be working on try to get him in there so that's three next up is a few different options here i kind of really like sif because she's skill which means that i'm gonna have a few more of her items than other heroes so sif might be uh, an option in there and if i go with sif sif i gotta go with hella she's mystic so i got bio i got tech she would be my mystic but i mean she's phenomenal as well so that's my other option and then another hero that i really was thinking about at this point where's my invisible woman for raids she's phenomenal i t forward all three of these abilities here so yeah she would be but she's only three red stars as well so those red stars kind of really get me though but look at that booty so anyways those are my top i got six heroes there but those are the top six heroes that i really am thinking about guys Mordo would probably be somebody in there as well because he's mystic i really you kind of got to make a choice guys you got to go with the best thing to do is probably go with one tech one mystic one skill one bio you know what i mean one of everything because your items are least spread out that way but i think i could do with two of them two tech or maybe two bio we'll, we'll see how that one plays out so that's cosmic now let's jump into city all right now for city the options are very <sighs> limited to say the least guys but you only there is one hero that you absolutely you pretty much at this point you have to have for city and that's spider-man symbiote this guy is unbelievable in raids and dark dimension this guy is a phenomenal perfect host which i definitely recommend you t4 and i'm definitely going to do it too as soon as red skull is finished with i'm going to jump on him next year because i definitely got to work on him a lot more but i think i have to work on him for dark dimension now we're talking a lot in the future here because i won't be able to get into city uh nodes in dark dimension 3 for quite some time so this is just a little planning ahead but spider-man symbiote is going to be number one i think i go with city so that's one and then if i go with spider-man symbiote i'm pretty much have to go with venom carnage <sighs> Punisher is a really really good choice here his skill and as you can see I got a good amount of his items here but not if I give it to somebody else but he does a ton of damage you definitely need the damage there he doesn't really benefit from the symbiotes but you just need some damage in these things and then spider-man would probably be my last defense down Oh, this is such a long project here, guys. We got a lot to work on in the future here. But those are basically the heroes that I've been thinking about, guys, for each section of Dark Dimension 3. I'm very excited about it. I mean, it's going to be phenomenal. I can't wait for that. A couple of things that want to run off here. I'm patiently waiting for Red Skull to come out here. I'm really excited for his release. I got a ton of Red Star orbs opened. I mean, waiting to open here. So 82 of these bad boys here ready for him. So I'm excited about that. Let's open up a few things while we go at it here. All right, give me something good here. Woo! Yes, sir! I think that's exactly what I needed to level him up here. Yes, so we're going to go ahead and promote Toad right now. All right, a couple of gold orbs here. Let's go. Oh, my God! What am I? What am I? What am I? What am I? Alright, right now, today's my lucky day. 
Where was Red Skull? Oh my god, if he was dropped today, I think I would have pulled a 7 Red Star Red Skull right now. I kind of want to open some of these now because I'm feeling pretty lucky. I mean, oof. Or did I just waste my luck? We'll, hold on. we'll, we'll wait on that. So I got some... I got some Mega Orbs ready to go here, a bunch of Milestone Orbs, and then Ultimus Orbs in the waiting, in the works there. So we're not rushing on that here. We're going to go ahead and let's go ahead and purchase some of these for now. What are we working on here? Anything for T4s. I mean, a Gear Tier 14, no. Heimdall, we are almost at 6 stars. Everybody else is done in here now. Let's go into this. Oof, finally saw a Sif. I haven't seen Sif here in a long time, guys, but I'm going all in on Asgardians now because my Black Bolt needs to get that sixth red star, which is going to help out a lot. All right, so these pathogens I actually need for my mutants, so I'm going to go ahead and get that. Uh, the resources in the store are so hard. And that's it for that. All right, let's jump in now. We have actually one of these orange gear openings here, so wish me luck here. I need something for... Ultron conductors Damn it. It's not what we needed. All right, that wasn't great Okay, now moving on guys. We got a couple of battles here I'm gonna show you here for blob blitz my top two teams I got the hero brawlers with Captain Marvel and then I got my power armor here going So I saved these two teams we will do two battles and then call it a day. All right, so let's jump into this right here Come on fast motion in the ocean. All right, so um focus down. Let's go Mordo here We want to avoid that stun Success! Boom. Pyro next. Alright, we finally get the taunts out now. We're gonna go with... Boom! So I switched up my teams quite a bit, guys. So I might do a little video uh, in the near future here on my current teams for Blitz. But we got a solid... Over 23 teams, literally. So we need a lot more slots open here. 20 that I'm fitting on my teams and then the rest. With Red Skull coming out now, Hydra is definitely a solid team as well, so we need to find a spot for them. Alright, come on, let's finish them off here. Boom, defense down. Assist, and it's pretty much game over here. Boom! Alright, victory is ours. We did it right there. Now let's jump into the top team. Alright guys, here we go. My best team in the game right now currently for Blitz. The Power Armor, 382k power. Here we go. Let's see what they can do. Now currently we're at, I think tier 6.3 i think i'm not exactly sure but i think it's somewhere around there we're just fighting up the rankings of blitz but just a little added bonus here i'm gonna use this before i use her offense up it doesn't really matter because at this rate they can win even without rescue and then just imagine well you, you don't have to imagine we're gonna go right now powered up aoe's Ugh. there we go Ugh. destruction beautiful all right, so that put us at 7 there. So that's my first run. Ran up to tier 7. And that's using all of the teams at my disposal. And that will pretty much do it for today, guys. I still got to do a lot of stuff, but this video is getting long enough. So that's pretty much it, guys. I'm so happy I'm back onto YouTube making some videos for you guys. Stay in touch. Be sure to like the video. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will catch you guys on the next video, right? Stay in touch, guys. I'll see you soon.